What is going on guys? This is again Shakes from SmartHerd. Welcome to 31st Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about include statements in Ruby. In last few tutorials, we saw about modules and require statement. Now it's time for include statement. Now let me first create a new project again. File, new, then again, Ruby project, right? Next. The name of the project starts with capital letter. My new project, whatever your name you want to give. Then hit finish. Yeah, we are having a new project here. Now, how to create a new Ruby file? Just right click on it, new file, then write name as let me say shrakes.rb, rb extension for Ruby file, then hit finish. Now, Let's start our coding. Let's define a module. Say week. I have prepared an example, guys. Hope you will like it. Now, let's define an what do you say? Constant first underscore day equal to let's say Sunday. Sunday, here's coming. Let's define a method week dot weeks in month let's write put us you have four weeks in a month hope I'm not wrong <laughs> let's define another method df module name sorry weeks underscore in underscore year Let's write put us you have 52 weeks in a year. Right? Now, this is our shrakes.rb. Now, let's save it. After execution, it won't give any output because we are not calling any methods of this module. Now, let me create another file. New file. Let's say this one smarter dot rb right hit finish now in this file we are actually going to use include statement statement let me first incorporate this tricks dot rb file into this smarter dot rb file let's make use of relative sorry require relative statement require underscore relative file name tricks dot rb right now after including these tricks dot rb let us access this let us print this module name week double colon then first underscore day yeah there's a constant inside the module week now let us access the methods week dot weeks in a month then week dot weeks in a year right now let's save it and execute it here we go this statement is going to print the value of first underscore day which is Sunday now week dot weeks in a month it is going to call this method this method so it is going to print this you have four weeks in a month now this statement week dot week underscore in year this method will be executed and this statement will be printed now you guys must be thinking what the heck where is the include statement now let me add few more codes in order to make you through this include statement let us define a class class let's say decade one decade I think it's 10 year hope I'm not wrong now here I'm using this include statement in order to include this weak module within this class decade so this require relative statement is used to include or incorporate this shakes.rb file within the smarter and this shakes.rb is having the module week so if we need the week module to be included in this decade class so we have to use the syntax include space module name that is week now let's define a variable number of years let's say it is 10 right 
Now let us define a method. Number underscore sorry number of months yeah number of months now let's put this now in order to access first day which was a variable in our module week so we can access it by using the module name week double colon first day yeah let's use it like this today is today is week today is Sunday you can say that but it's not it's Friday <laughs> let's define a number number of let's say just number yeah 10 years into 12 this number will give the number of months in 10 years you can say number of years here no props number of years yeah now after this let us initialize an object let's say d1 equal to decade sorry class name decade dot new right now after this let us access this method number of months how to access this method within with the help of the object let's write d1 dot number of months now let's save it and execute it hey what the heck I'm having the error now let's check it out what's the error undefined local variable or method number of years okay oh sorry guys I just forgot to make it a global variable you can make it a class variable also by putting the prefix double rate double at the rate double at the rate I am it global yeah now let's save it and execute it here we go we get the output like this now here are the four outputs the output is such that d1 is the object created of the class decade now put us week double colon first day it is going to print Sunday because week is a module and within this week we are having the first day as a constant similarly weeks in a year this is going this method is going to print you have 52 weeks in a year now d1 dot number of months this is going to access this method number of months in within this it is going to print this today is Sunday now let me add another statement here put us number of months in 10 years is let's write plus number dot two underscore s right now in save it and execute it yes we are having another statement here in the output number of months in 10 years is 120 10 into 12 is 120 now our main objective was to learn about include statement as we learned here this include statement is used in order to include the module week within this class decade in similar way in complex programs also in future if you are planning to become a Ruby developer you can use such things in your programs or applications so catch you guys in the next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment below my video thank you